Hello everyone and welcome to Robot Fight Club. My name is Lucas. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to channel mix your RC transmitter for arcade drive. Robot Fight Club. Alright, before we get started, um, my eye, you might notice, looks a little weird right now. Uh, just poison ivy and it's starting to heal up. It should be better in a couple of days. Anyways, let's get into the video and that is channel mixing your remote. So I recommend getting into combat robots by building one out of an RC car first so you can get a fundamental knowledge of how to build and some basic knowledge of electronics. But once you're past that level, it's time to get a hobby grade remote, so something like this. So this is the Flysky FSI 6 and I have a video over this and why I really like this as my transmitter of choice for a combat robot, link to that video is in the description. And you might also want to keep in mind that depending on what your remote looks like, it might not have the arcade drive option, but most remotes will have a mix option where you can get it working for your combat robot. Anyways, what arcade drive is, is you use one of the sticks to control the drive, and the right stick right here controls two channels, and those are both your drive channels, which is generally channels 1 and 2. And that's forward, that's backwards, and then everything else is some degree of turning. And it's very convenient because you can use one hand to control the drive, and the other hand can be free to operate whatever else you need to. And overall, the arcade drive control system is really easy to use and pretty effective. Okay, so when you get the remote, it's going to be programmed for something else not a combat robot or generally it won't have an option to use our K drive in the mix and that's because these are generally used for RC helicopters planes things like that but just a little bit of programming and you can get it working for your controls before we get started we're gonna want to know what channel mixing is and I don't claim to have a great understanding of it and my understanding might even be completely wrong, but it makes sense to me and hopefully it'll make sense to you. All channel mixing is is the programming of your remote to customize the controls to what you need. With the six channels, you need to program the remote to have all the controls to where you want them. And channel mixing is just basically customizing the drive channels. I've drawn up this diagram which helps me kind of explain how it all works. And channel mixing is composed of masters and slaves. And the master channel controls the action basically and the slave channel reacts to it. Or at least that's how I understand it. So basically when you channel mix both channels are going to be the master and the slave and it'll depend on what the control input is to which role they take. Sometimes they'll both be master channels, like as you can see here, going forward will both master channels to activate, so you'll be going forward with both motors, or going backwards is the same thing and they're both acting as slave channels and having a negative action to that control input. And then turning will be somewhere in between, usually activating a master and a slave channel to do that turn. That might not be a completely, you know, that might not actually be how it works, but that's how I explain it, and I think it does work as an explanation, and that's what I understand, and that's what I'm sticking with. Anyways, now that we know basically how channel mixing works and what it does, let's go ahead and actually mix the remote. Okay, guys, so this is without the mixes on, and as you can see, when I throttle up, only one of the motors is turning on, and this is obviously because this is set up for an airplane as pre-programmed into the remote. So to actually get both of the drive motors to go forward at the same time, I'd have to put it in the corner like that, which is obviously not ideal. So I have to go ahead and channel mix. So to do this, you just go ahead and access the mix portion on your menu. Okay, so I already have this set so the channels are already mixed on mine I'm just gonna go ahead and turn them on and as we can see 
what needs to happen is you need to set both channels at as a master and a slave. So both channels will have to be a master and a slave and you're going to need to put on two mixes for this. And then on mix one, on mix one you'll see it's negative 100% on both channels. And then on mix two it's positive 100%. So that way they will both react differently when you control a stick. Using these principles, you can pretty much mix anything. You just have to fiddle around with it a little bit. But basically, all you need to know is that you want both channel to be both a master and a slave in a different mix. And both of them need to have a negative 100% and a positive 100% negative and positive mix on there. And that's literally it. Just fiddle around with your remote if it's different than mine. But using that knowledge, you'll be able to get it mixed. And then after you're done, just go ahead and press save, whatever that may be. And now if we go to display, there we go. As you can see, going forward and backwards, we're able to get that mix that we need. As you can see, turning and reversing and then full turn. So, after you get those mixes on, it should control properly. And like I say, just mess around with it and you should be able to get it going. Okay, so there you have it. That is how to channel mix your remote. It will vary a little bit depending on what transmitter you have. But using these concepts in the video, you should be able to program and channel mix any transmitter. Anyways, I hope the video made sense and I hope it was helpful. And if it was, please like, comment, and subscribe. I'm trying to grow my channel, so I would love it if you guys subscribe and interacted with the videos. Anyways, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time on Robot Fight Club.